Marcos, it's been a, obviously a, a poor start to the season for Melbourne Victory. Um, can you explain it? Yes, I mean, if you say to me, if you could say that we received seven goals and we scored just one before the season, I couldn't, maybe I will not believe you, but that is the reality. Now we are a strong group, we have strong personalities in the, in the group. Um, now the next Friday is going to be an amazing final for us. What was the feeling like after the game on the weekend? Were you sort of in a bit of shock that the team put in that performance? Uh, I feel so bad. I mean, and we feel so bad. Um, and you can see in our training. Now we, we are fighting for a spot. Every 22 players have the same chance to play. Um, and I don't know if you see the training, how, f how, how hard we fight each other. Um, we are honest and loyal to each other and, and this is going to be a grand, grand challenge for us. What's Ange been like since? Has he been angry? Has he been trying to keep it positive? What's his sort of mood been like? He's, he's a leader of our group. Um, he, sent, he sent his confidence to us and, and we believe that we are better than, than what we show. After the club's worst uh, loss in history, what was mentioned in this morning's uh, video session? Oh, we we are criticism. We we, we make really out to criticism really hard. Uh, uh, each other and as the players and the coach say to us all all, all weakness. Um, but we have to move on, man. We have to move on. And Friday we have one big challenge. I know the. We have a lot of loyal supporters, victory supporters, they're going to come and they're going to support us and, and it's going to be a great, great challenge, I'm going to repeat. You're going to get Archie Thompson, Mark Milligan and Marco Rojas back. Will that make a big, big difference to this team, do you think? They're important players for us, but we, I respect the players who, who did play. Uh, they try really hard and, um, yeah, of course, if they come fresh and they can put her qualities in the, on the pitch, we are really happy, we're going to be happy. Does it sort of feel like it can't get any worse than it already has been and you know the only way is up heading yeah. into this week? Yeah, we have to, I'm, I'm pretty, I have to say that I overcome the game, I didn't sleep the last 48 hours, now with this training I start getting the, out the backs of my shoulders and as a group as well and I you know I'm so happy for the training we have today, we hear each other. So that is good, good things because we want to hurt the opponents. You know a lot about Adelaide. You had a successful time there, an enjoyable time. Um, how do you feel about playing Adelaide this week uh, and they're unbeaten top of the league? I feel so good that we're going to play against them. I am so happy in this club. Um, I have extreme mates there. I, I don't want to talk with anyone. Just I want to go play hard, fight. And after 90 minutes, I want to start I want to start chatting again with them, but they know they're going to play my 100%, 110% against them. They know how bad I want to win. Um, just the only thing I, I can wait to to that Friday to to see the to listen the whistle of the ref. Tactically, you know, Adelaide usually they're strong defensively and and tough to break down. Is that what you're expecting uh, on Friday night? I expect to see my team. I don't. I don't care what they're gonna do. I mean, to be humble, uh, we we want to attack and we want to wake up. And the only thing I want to see my teammates angry and and try to fight each other. That's a matter we we play against who. I, the reality is they won the first two games, and we lost the, the first two games. But that is not the end. That is the beginning, and and we want to work hard to overcome all this situation. A lot has been talked about the new structure and system of play that Ange is trying to bring in here. Um, do you feel that uh, expectations maybe were too high from the public straight away? We're going to try to do something different, but I believe in my, I believe, we believe in our coach and um, what you want is, is perfect. It's just we have to make that work. I'm, I mean, pressure, pressure, that is not pressure for us. Uh, we want to play the best football we can do and, and, and it's not working in the beginning but it's going to work. I'm, I'm, I'm promise, I promise myself, I promise my team, I promise the supporters we want to overcome this situation. Just, just we need this, this time and we need the support. Um, the 11 guys who have the chance to, to play the next Friday, 
we we should know that we that we're gonna have amazing support from the supporters and the only thing we have to do is fight and and try to hurt the, the opposition you're back at Etihad Stadium this week do you sort of feel like you owe the fans you know after what's happened in the first few weeks yeah I mean uh, that's to, to be honest to be honest I uh, we can expect more than supporters. They come 42,000 people, we let down. And now we have the new chance, the new opportunity to to, to make the supporters believe. Um, we are training really hard. Um, and you can see today, I saw blood in faces of my teammates. And and that is, is something that gives me confidence to say uh, uh, I am in one group, group really strong, a strong group, and, and we want to make it. We're gonna make that work. Marcos, some of the commentators on, on last week's game said that some of the players weren't fit. Is that something you buy into? You think that some of the Melbourne Shoe players aren't fit enough this season? No. I am that is completely wrong. We work four months like animals. The old coach or finish coach make an unbelievable, unbelievable job. The thing is, you never will be you will you will see tired one team who is winning three new. Always you can you you will criticize the fitness of the team who is lose. It's normal. That is football. When you score two goals and you are with you good humor, you can run 100, 100 minutes. But but in football now this, we, we we lost three new for new and and we couldn't we didn't show we we didn't show the character for comeback and um, and we we was we were lost. But anyway, now we have. The next 90 minutes to show how bad we work, how mad, how bad this four month the precision was for us, and and we are ready. We are ready. Just we have to make the one goal, and everything is going to happen.